How's it going, y'all? Today, I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest approach to do KO for Rico Highs. I'm going to be doing a full stealth run as well, which means we're going to be going in and out of El Rubio's compound with the primary loot without alerting any guards. So let's get straight into it. Firstly, you want to go to your sub and start the heist. For the approach vehicle, you want to use the Kotsaka. For the infiltration and the compound entry point, you want to be choosing the drainage tunnel. If you guys haven't unlocked the drainage tunnel and want to know how to unlock this location, you guys can check out the link in the description below. For the escape point, you guys can choose any of this location. We're just going to choose the main docks here. Choose any time of day and make sure to use the suppressors on your weapon loadout just in case. So as soon as the high starts, you'll be swimming out of your submarine. You want to be swimming to the yellow circle. As you can see right in front of you, just swim there and you'll see the drainage tunnel where you need to interact with it to use your blowtorch and cut through the gate so you can enter through the drainage tunnel. Once you're inside of El Rubio's compound, here is where actually you can skip all the guards. You want to be going to this location where I'm at now and then climb up to the rooftop which will allow you to skip almost all of the guards including the mini boss right there. Also do take note in the latest Kaeperico patch if you kill a guard and then another guard spotted the body you'll trigger the alarm. So the best method to do Kaeperico heist right now is not to kill any guards as you're not able to move the bodies like in Red Dead Online or Red Dead Redemption 2. For example, if you kill a guard near the gate and then you go into the basement and loot the primary loot and then more guards will spawn as you guys will know. And when these new guards spawn and spot it, the dead bodies that you guys have killed, the alarm will be triggered. So once again, if you guys want to get this heist quickly done, simply avoid all the guards. All right, once you're at the main office building, you want to wait for one of the guards to go to the main entrance. Once he's facing towards the entrance, you want to quickly go to the staircase that will lead upwards to the main office. There'll be a guard standing there. You're just going to ignore him and head upstairs. And then you want to wait right at this spot right here because this is one of the dumbest guard in Cayo Perico. What do you guys think El Rubio will do to this guard if he finds out this guard lets you slip through like this? So once you reach the main office, you want to open up the safe and loot whatever money inside there. And then you're just going to hack the elevator since we're not going to kill any guards to get the keys to enter the basement. If you guys need the guide on how to hack this fingerprint reader, I'll be providing the link in the description below. And the hack is pretty easy. It should get you through with little or no effort at all. Also, don't forget if there's any paintings or secondary loot that you guys can loot, be sure to grab them as we're doing a fast run right here. Once you reach the basement, go ahead and use your blowtorch to get rid of the chains, and then grab your primary loot. Once you got the primary loot, you want to go back up on the elevator, and then you want to go back down to the first guard that you've skipped, wait for him to get to his earlier position away from the entrance, and then you want to quickly follow this route here, vault down, and then up the stairs, avoid the radar, and quickly run to the main entrance to exit the compound. Once you're outside of the compound, this will be optional. If you don't want to kill the guard, you can just run towards the seashore, towards the west, and then just swim out to the sea, and eventually, Pavel will pick you up on his submarine and complete the heist. So I'm just going to make this quick here. I'm just going to kill this guard with the motorbike, and then use his motorbike so we match faster, and then you just want to ride the bike and jump off the coast, and you're going to swim as far as you could towards the west and you've successfully completed Heyo Perico Heist. That's it for today's video. I hope you find this guide useful. If you did, be sure to hit the subscribe for more future GTA videos. This is Joe and I'll see you next time.